Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary and I'm an illustrator and graphic designer living in Canada. First off I wanted to let you know that I have these little ichthyosaur phone charms or keychains, um, whatever you want to use them for, up in my Etsy store. I'm really excited to reproduce these. Uh, I had them as enamel pins earlier but enamel pins are a bit of an investment especially since I have to supply the money for the pins up front so I didn't want to reprint them as pins just yet I'd rather do a new design as pins um, but I got these keychains and I think they turned out super cute so if you'd like to purchase one of these I'll leave the link in the description below and uh, yeah they're they're really nice um, they're light they smell like campfire because they're laser cut um, they're wood with a walnut veneer on them, and so all of them are going to be a little bit different, a little bit unique, different grain patterns. Some of them end up a little bit uh, half-tone looking, um, and I just think they're super cute. So um, free shipping to Canada, uh, a little treat for my fellow Canadians. Um, I know we always get the short end of the stick when it comes to shipping, so free shipping for Canada for these little guys. Uh, and the link will be down below. I've been thinking a lot about making new products um, and making stickers and, and running a little bit more of a, of a business out of my social media and my Etsy store. It's been sort of strange adapting to having a full-time job in graphic design. I went to school for graphic design, um, but my major was illustration, so I was always painting and drawing a lot more. And I'm still painting and drawing a ton at work, um, but it's all stuff that I can't share um, because it's not released yet. Um, or just, uh, you know, it's stuff that belongs to the museum where I work. All the work that I do there belongs um, irrevocably to, to them, so it's not really my property at that point. Um, which means that sometimes I get home and, you know, I don't, I don't have the creative juices to, to keep producing on my own. Or um, I, I experience a lot of a battle between, you know, things that I would like to make for work and things that I would like to make for myself are very similar. I'm quite lucky in that way. Um, if I was going to produce stickers, they would probably be dinosaur stickers. But then I sit there thinking, well, why don't I make the stickers for the museum? And then the museum is the one producing them and I don't have to put any of my own cash into it. Um, I mean, that way I don't get any profits, but I'm still producing something that I'm proud of and that people can share and enjoy. So that's sort of a lot of what I've been thinking about lately. Uh, and some point over the, the Christmas break, having a little time to myself, um, I decided that I wanted to get back into printmaking. I took one printmaking course in college, and I did a lot of printmaking in high school, actually. Uh, and I always liked the feel and the aesthetic of, of printmaking, the sort of tangible quality of it. Um, but naturally, I mean, I, I and I even rented stuff in a printmaking studio and I never made a single print there. Isn't that, isn't that kind of stupid? Um, but that sort of tactile stuff always, always took the back burner to things that I was getting paid for, which were mostly 2D um, digital replications of paintings. Uh, so I bought myself on Amazon just a little bit of uh, easy cut laminate and uh, I want to try to print with waterproof ink. Um, I got a bottle of India ink to try out and we'll see how the quality is with that but I'll probably spring and buy some oil-based um, printing ink when I'm in town next. It's difficult living in a small town because I can't just pop over and get what I want. Uh, but I want to try to do prints that are going to be hand tinted um, with watercolor. That's sort of what I have in my brain is, is hand tinted block prints. So I'm trying to do a design, that's sort of what I'm sketching here, like just coming up with a design that would look good hand tinted, um, but also that adds a lot of um, variation, uh, opportunity for variation in the hand tinting. So I'm kind of going for like a, either a bird or a raptor, um, or a dragon, something, something with 
sort of a medieval feel to it, but also a natural history feel um, that I can then hand tint with different feather patterns or something like that. So um, just, just ideating here. I'm just coming up with ideas. I'm just sketching ideas for this um, and hopefully eventually uh, I'll decide on on a final piece and I will show a video of me cutting cutting the piece on this YouTube channel I think that'd be nice put it to some nice music that'll be pretty relaxing yeah so that's just where I'm at right now uh, if you guys have anything you'd like to see for my gouache tips um, how to paint with gouache, that little be beginner series that I started. Uh, if there's anything you'd like to know about gouache, let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate the ideas because um, as someone who uses gouache a lot, I can't remember always what, what bothered me in the beginning, you know, what I struggled with. So knowing what you guys struggle with will help me create a video that is useful to you. And uh, I hope you like these sort of more chatty videos too. I don't do them a ton. Um, but I really didn't have an idea for a video today, so I thought, gee, well, I'll just I'll unpack these these phone charms. I'll sit down and I'll I'll chat a little bit. And uh, my apologies for any squeaking or scrabbling that you might have heard in the background. Um, the scrabbling is my lizard Cicero. He's in his tank near my desk and he's running around like a crazy person. And uh, the squeaking is my is Finn's chair. <laughs> he's uh, he's got quite an old chair, but he loves it. He's over there drawing at his desk in our art room. Um, yeah, it's getting super cold here in Canada. Uh, I can't wait for it to warm up so I can start doing plain air paintings again. Um, at these temperatures, it's getting to like minus thirty, <laughs> minus thirty Celsius. Uh, it's impossible. I mean, some people I've seen painting at minus 5 or minus 10, but I'm a wuss. I, I don't want to. <laughs> so I want it to warm up so I can start bringing you um, more outdoor videos and show you a bit more of, of the badlands and the Canadian landscape that I live in. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you liked this, this, little, this little chat. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a good week, and I hope it's also a bit warmer than where I am. Thanks for watching. Bye!